uh, welcome back. Uh, now let's discuss some important terms which include end diastolic volume and systolic volume, ejection fraction, stroke volume, and at the end Frank Starling law. Okay. Well, end diastolic volume, the word indicate that the blood volume present in the ventricle, blood volume. present in the ventricle at the end of diastolic like when the heart has been completely relaxed at the end of diastolic after complete relaxation the amount of blood that uh, is present in the uh, ventricle it will be called as end diastolic volume or we can say the amount of blood present in the heart just before the contraction Obviously, at the end of when the diastolic has been complete, now it's time for the contraction. So just before the contraction, at the end of diastolic, just before the uh, systolic, uh, the amount of blood present in the heart will be called as uh, end diastolic volume. Clear? End systolic volume. Now, when the heart will contract, when the heart will contract, most of the blood, not all, most of the blood from the ventricle will go into the uh, blood vessels. Most of the blood will be ejected into the blood vessel. The remaining blood at the end of contraction, at the end of systole, the blood that will be remained in the heart ventricle will be called as end systolic volume. End systolic volume. Okay, clear? Now, what is ejection fraction? Ejection fraction is basically the fraction, the percentage of blood the percentage of blood that has been uh, ejected out per contraction like uh, you know uh, no need to confuse between stroke volume and uh, ejection fraction stroke volume is exact the amount of volume uh, sorry the volume of blood uh, ejected per contraction ejected per contraction per bead okay and that is approximately 72 ml 72 ml uh, average in average in normal human being it is 72 like per contraction 72 ml blood is being uh, ejected into the blood vessel clear now ejection fraction is basically percentage of blood that has been pumped out that has been pumped into the blood vessel per contraction and it is approximately 65 percent it is approximately 60, 65% of the blood that is present in the ventricle is ejected into the blood uh, vessels per contraction. 35% of the blood uh, will stay in the ventricle back. So this is an ejection fraction. It is basically percentage of the blood that is, has been ejected and it is basically exact amount. Obviously it is average. Uh, the average amount of blood, the volume of blood, it is not percentage. It is exact or average volume of the blood that has been uh, ejected into the blood vessel per contraction. Clear? Now what is uh, Frank Starling law or Frank Starling curve? Uh, I don't know why I have flagged this curve. Well, it's again a very important concept. What Frank Starling law uh, states that end diastolic volume. If the end diastolic volume is more, the stroke volume. The stroke volume will be more. The stroke stroke volume will be more. He means to say that if end diastolic volume, for example, uh, if the ventricle filling is more, end diastolic volume, like uh, when more blood is coming at the end of diastolic, more blood is present in the ventricle. If end diastolic volume is more, it means at the end of relaxation, at the end of relaxation when the heart has been completely relaxed, if more volume of blood is present. In the heart at the end of relaxation so obviously the stroke when it will contract the stroke volume will be more the stroke volume will be more basically the point is you know basically our uh, heart ventricle they're very flexible they're very flexible okay now uh, if you stretch a rubber band if you stretch a rubber band if you stretch it little bit uh, 
more obviously when it will be stretched more and when it will be relaxed it will be relaxed more powerfully it will come back more powerfully to the to its original position if you uh, uh, stretch the uh, rubber band uh, just to uh, lower extent obviously it will not come back uh, as much forcefully uh, as it will come back when you will stretch it more okay so point is similarly when end diastolic volume is high it means uh, at the end of systolic at the end of uh, diastolic at the end of relaxation if the blood present in the heart is more if the blood present in the heart is more so it means the ventricle has been relaxed more ventricle has been stretched more when ventricle has been stretched more obviously now it, it will contract more powerfully or it will contract uh, normally obviously it if the ventricle muscles has been when heart muscles cardiac muscle has been stretched more obviously they will come back with more power they will come back to their original position with more power okay so now when the end diastolic volume is more there will be more blood in the ventricle ventricles will more stretch cardiac muscle will more stretch and then they will more stretch they will relax with more power uh, with more power or they will powerfully relax when they will powerfully relax obviously the amount of blood ejected per contraction per beat more uh, blood will be released more blood will be released okay getting it so this is the reason if the end diastolic volume increase if the end, end diastolic volume increase stroke volume also increase okay but to a limit to a limit it's not like that you are uh, keep on increasing the end diastolic volume and the uh, so stroke volume will be keep on increasing it, it doesn't uh, go like this okay point is clear I will again re repeat if you will stretch a rubber band more powerfully this rubber band will come back to the original position it will relax more powerfully it will relax more powerfully similarly when end diastolic volume is more it means the ventricle filling is more at the end of diastole more blood is present in the ventricle when more blood is present in the ventricle it means ventricle muscles have been relaxed ventricle have, muscle has been stretched uh, ventricle muscle has been stretched more when the ventricle muscle has been stretched more obviously when it's time to contract they will contract more powerfully because they have been stretched more so they will contract back more powerfully when they will contract back more powerfully the volume ejected per beat will be more so stroke volume will increase if stroke volume increase so we can also say that end diastolic volume increase the stroke volume or the cardiac output stroke volume or cardiac output okay so this was the end diastolic uh, uh, frank starling law uh, i'm very much sure you are clear about all these terms uh, because uh, we are going to talk about these terms uh, while discussing the pathophysiology of hypertension again and again so it was very uh, important to discuss or to make your concept clear related to all these terms before starting the before talking about the pathophysiology of hypertension